Fire assumptions challenge where it's unedited, completely raw. Answering some juicy assumptions you like have about me. I went on my Insta stories and I got you guys to ask me some assumptions. But if you guys don't follow me on Instagram already, make sure you follow me so you don't miss out on all these stories content that I ask you guys for so you can take part in my videos. I'm actually nervous, but before we get started, let me just quickly tell you a lot about the hair I'm wearing today. 20 inch curly wig from Beauty Forever Hair. I've actually worked with them before and they're a really good company. Yeah, I just put some water and mousse, but it's kind of dried up a bit now but it still looks cute and i really like the hair because this hair is not too like thick and too bushy i was thinking of maybe cutting it into like a cute little bob i'm not sure that look cute yeah yeah i'm actually gonna do this you know if i do i might do it on camera if you don't want to see that attempting to cut this hair into a bob but in terms of the actual curls the curls are like really cute obviously like it's gone dry now but even in its dry state it's still nice and soft and everything i really like how the parting's really deep because i don't really like it when it's too short like i feel like when it's deeper it looks more natural i'm happy that they sent me a 13 by 6 instead of 13 by 4 if you don't want to get this hair make sure to look in the description box down below and yeah without further ado let's get ready for this video my mom is behind the scenes say hi what it do what it do <laughs> and she's gonna be the one that's reading out the assumptions for me and i don't know why i'm really like nervous and scared because i can't like choose choose what assumptions like you know but my mum yeah she probably like parental controls all the assumptions i told her to choose the juicy ones and i hear her saying oh no these women are too much uh. yeah because sometimes you need to have boundaries and people don't need to all up in your business that's the whole point is juicy assumptions yeah juicy assumptions but with boundaries okay well if it's boring you don't know why <laughs> Okay, we right. Right, we're, gonna ten, we're gonna do a 10 minute timer. Use your phone, and then from 10 minutes onwards, it's gonna be no editing. I'm so nervous, like I'm proper in the hot seat. <laughs> Okay. I was trying so hard not to look at the assumptions, but I haven't looked at any of them so far. Back to start, 10 minutes. When should I start? Tell me when to start. Nah. Three, two, one. You wouldn't mind having kids young because your relationship with your mum. No, I don't want kids young because I feel like it would just take up so much of my fun time and like I would want to live life as a young person without having to have the responsibility of a whole child when I'm still a child. Talk to them, I talk oh, to Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah like no, I, would, like, I wouldn't want a kid young. However, the good thing about having a kid young is like I would like it if my child was like not too much younger than me because then it would feel like more of a closer relationship like how me and my mum are. But still, I'd rather be older. You don't have a big friendship circle? No, I don't have a big friendship circle and I don't, no, I only, I'm only friends with like a handful of people, obviously I'm cool with a lot of people I guess, but I would only like, I only have a couple go-to friends that I would actually like go out with and talk to on a daily basis. I feel like you have bare friends. I don't, I actually don't. You don't want to collab with London YouTubers, i.e. Ray Bay, Lee Sims, I have no idea who any of Um, I don't want to collab with them. You don't want to collab with London YouTubers. Um, it's not that I don't want to, I'm, I'm not really on their level, first of all, like, these are the Bay London YouTubers for my age group, I'm not really on their level yet, but, um, if they wanted to come with me, I would, but I'm, just, I'm more of a shy person when it comes to, like, meeting people that I don't know, so I feel like I would have to know them and have a friendship with them first before filming a whole video with them, like, I'm not really the type that can just film a video with a stranger and just be normal, like, I'll be really shy, so, yeah. You're the only child? Yeah. Oh no, I have a half brother. <laughs> I have a half brother from my dad's side, yeah. Your daddy's girl. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's true, I'm a daddy's girl. She's literally wrapped around her dad's finger. <laughs> you used to be insecure about your height. Yes, yes, I used to be insecure about my height and I still low-key am. Like when I'm hanging around with people that are quite shorter than me, it makes me feel more insecure. But um, I'm not the tallest girl in the world, so like, I don't really have much to complain about, so yeah. You actually have a boyfriend, but you don't want to tell your mum. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I don't have a boyfriend. And if I did want to tell my mum, why would I say it now? Exactly. <laughs> like, if I did have a boyfriend and I was hiding it, why would I say it now? But I don't know. You're not happy with your body? Um, okay, my bo me and my body, my relationship with my body 
is an iffy one because sometimes I'm really insecure. Sometimes I'm like, I don't care if I'm skinny, la, 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 la. like I'm just back and forth. Um, obviously, like sometimes you have to love your body, but if I could customize my own body, it probably wouldn't be the body that I have now, but I'm learning to love it the way it is. You're loyal to people, but once they show their true colors, you cut them off straight. I don't think I've ever cut people off. Like, I feel like with all my friendships that have ended is because it just gradually ends or we have an argument. But I don't just like cut people off because I've never been in a friendship where they're just fake. Like, I'm, my friends have always been normal, like loyal and stuff. You don't consider yourself an influencer? No, <laughs> I don't. You're nervous about receiving your results? Yes, I'm literally on the YouTube right now. It's results day GCSE. I like watching other people open their results. And yeah, I'm really nervous, but I'm gonna be doing a live reaction for you guys on YouTube. So you're gonna watch me open my results. So it's exciting. You can't cook. Yes, I can cook. Guys, this quarantine, I've actually learned so much from. You can vouch for yeah, me. Yeah, she's done good, she's done good. At the start of quarantine in March, I didn't know how to cook nothing. Now, I can cook so much dishes. I've learned how to cook all the different meats, all the seasoning, Checking all these out. carbs. I've been cooking more than she does. <laughs> I know how to cook, thank you very much. You're allowed to do anything because your mom is young and chill. No, I'm not allowed to do anything. Do you see me with tattoos at 16 years old? Like, no, I'm not allowed to do everything. Actually quite strict, <laughs> yeah, she's strict, but like not too strict. Your trainer addict. I am, but I, I'm not. I don't have a, a large collection. But at heart, if I was rich, I would have so many trainers. Because literally, with me, I've bought about four pairs of trainers in lockdown. And every time I buy a new pair of trainers, by the next day, I want another one. So yeah, I'm obsessed. You're antisocial in real life. I'm not antisocial, but I'm not the most sociable person they can be. But once I'm comfortable around someone, then yeah, I'm really social. You look like you argue a lot. <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes! Yeah. And Natalia can argue till kingdom come. Okay, yeah, I can argue because I, like, yeah, I can argue. I can. <laughs> you don't like your dad. Why, why would I not like my dad? Like, what did my dad do to me? Of course I love my dad. Like, no. In school, you're popular. I'm not popular, but I feel like people know who I am like I feel like people know you know like but I don't think I'm popular like everyone like I'm the Tanya Hines blah, blah, blah. but I think people do know who I am you get man then bruh oh <laughs> <laughs> you know a lot of people actually assume that I just have low like, I just get loads of boys and all this stuff no I actually don't Tanya doesn't even talk to boys I don't talk to boys and boys don't talk to me <laughs> as they shouldn't as it should be you are rude. I don't think, like, I feel like a lot of people, if you go to my school as well, if you don't know me, a lot of people assume that I'm rude. Um, apparently, like, I have a resting face as well. But I think I'm quite nice. Obviously, I'm not the nicest person. I can be rude if I, like, if I have an attitude, but I don't think I'm a rude person. So, yeah. You failed your GCSEs. I haven't got my GCSEs back, and I'm not going to fail. I rebuke that, okay? I'm not going to fail. I'm going to do very well. Can speak Yoruba? No, because my mum can't even speak Yoruba, so how am I going to be able to speak <laughs> Yoruba? I don't know how to speak any other languages apart from English. I can understand some words in Yoruba from like childhood. As in, like, if like grandma or someone was to say a word to me, I could probably know what it means, like just the general words that, you know? What about Patois? Can I speak Patois? Yeah. Not really, but I could understand it. Like, if someone speaks to me in Patois, I would understand what they're saying. You're rich. No. You're a shopaholic. Um, now, I never used to be, like, I, I, know, I don't really buy clothes, but now I do actually enjoy going shopping, but at the same time, I don't like spending money, as, as it, like, you're gonna think I do like spending money, but I actually don't. The only thing I like spending large amounts of money on is trainers, but when it comes to clothes, I feel like it's just not needed. A lot of the time I get a promo from pretty little things, so I don't actually need to buy my own clothes. So yeah, I'm not a shopaholic, but when it comes to trainers, yeah. <laughs> you look organized. Yeah, I actually am. Like I, know, like, I feel like whenever I'm stressed out about something, when I organise it and I plan it out, it actually makes things way easier. Um, like in my GCSEs, I would always plan my revision and all that stuff. So yeah. You've smoked at least once. Sm no. No. <laughs> you want to be a lawyer? No. Actually, I remember. I remember like. 
I'm thinking of being a lawyer because I feel like I'll be good at like arguing a case. Yes. Yeah, so <laughs> I'll be good at arguing a case, but when it comes to actually trying to be a lawyer, like going through the whole academic experience, studying history and politics and all the subjects I don't like, no. But if I could just be a lawyer, just like out of the blue without having to go through the whole process of education, then yeah, why not? <laughs> but I don't like researching and reading history and all that stuff. Like it's just the argumentative side of it that I would like. Yeah, that's it. 10 minutes up. Yeah, yep. 10 minutes up. That's that was it. Too bad. A lot of them people haven't asked before. Some of them like were new ones. But yeah, that is the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to check my description box down below if you want to get this hair. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Bye. Bye. Yeah.